Sorry about that. Let's pick up where we uh, left off here. So I just used the magic eraser to get rid of the background of the cat here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the white for the top of the pumpkin. So I need to click on the top of the pumpkin, click on the white to get rid of it. There we go. And so now again, I can play this up and it looks like I've still got a little white in some of these um, frames. So I'm going to go back to frame one use the magic eraser to get rid of it. There we go. Looks like it's gone. And there comes the cat. Now I want the cat to come out a little bit um, slower. So I'm gonna move her back in a little bit. I'm gonna click on that new frame icon or duplicate icon. And I'm gonna move the cat up a little bit. I'm gonna do it again and move the cat up a little bit. There we go. And then last, I want the last frame for it to open its mouth. So I'm going to turn the mouth off and I'm going to turn the open mouth on. So the way that you have shapes change is by having layers turn off and on. Um, you can't have those layers on the whole time. So you can see how that changes. All right. So let's play this through. Great. So it looks like the cat's coming out of the pumpkin. The pumpkin sees the cat and its mouth is kind of opening. Um, now, we could really do a better job of this, but we're wanting to do something quick and easy so that we can really get an idea of how animated GIFs work. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to click on frame one um, of the timeline. And right here where it says zero seconds, I can change that to delay. So let's just click on one second. Now when I hit play, it's going to delay before it begins the animation. And I could do that at the end as well. So delay, clicking on the zero seconds here, one second. Now the part that I just clicked on that I didn't mean to, down at the bottom left where it says once, this is how many time it loops. So you can have it loop forever, you can have it loop a certain amount of times, let's say three. So now as I click on frame one and I hit play, plays once, and then it plays again, and then it will play one more time. So as you're making your animated GIFs, the most important things to remember, if you're transforming, you're changing the shape of something, you're changing the size of something, you have to do that with creating new layers and hiding them until you want them to show. If you're moving something, then you can just move it from frame to frame to frame. So remember that as you're making your animated GIFs because that will be your next project. Now, how do we get these out of Photoshop so that we can actually show them off? Well, let's go ahead and look at that. So what we want to do is we want to go to File, Export, and we're going to choose Save for, Save for Web. When we click on that, It'll take a second to load up here. You can choose the minus here to zoom out a little bit so that you can see it. And the only thing that we really might want to do is lower the image size so that it's not so big. So right now it's 1920 by 1280. That's really, really large. So let's reduce that by maybe to five by three maybe. And you can see how much smaller that makes it. Now I'm going to zoom back into 100% and you can see that's pretty darn tidy because it's in pixels. So we really need to bump that up some more. So let's do 50 by 33. And again, you can see how small that is. And you can keep going and kind of decide on what size you want. Um, I'm going to try 100 by 67. All right, let's see how that comes out when we export. Um, it does come out differently when you export, especially when you post to Twitter. So what I want to do next is I'm going to hit save. And you'll notice how it has GIF there. So I'm going to put in pumpkin. Okay. And then I'm just going to include the dot GIF just to be on the safe side. Notice there's other options there for HTML, things like that. I'm going to go to my H drive, my publishing and graphics folder, my Photoshop folder. And let's see here. I'm just going to save it here. Um, so I'm going to hit save. And now I can actually go out to that location. So publishing and graphics. And I think I put it under Photoshop, didn't I? Yes, I did. So I can double click on that and I can see um, it here inside of the HTML as it's moving and changing. And if you wanna see what that looks like inside of something, 
Let's actually go over and let's make a Google slide. Let's go and do an insert and image. And then choose image. Again, let's go to our H drive, our publishing and graphics folder, our Photoshop folder. Pumpkin is what we're looking for. There we go. And now you can see how, how big that is. So it's still pretty small. So it looks like we need to go in and make it a little bit larger, but it depends on what you're using. The reason I wanted to make mine um, super small was because I've been putting mine on Twitter and on Twitter, they come out much, much larger. So you could just go back into Photoshop. You could do it again, file, export, export for web. So now we really know we need a much larger file. So maybe I'm going to reduce this, you know, to 500. Let's see what that looks like. So that looks like a pretty decent size. So let's do a save. And I'm going to call it pumpkin 2, just so we have both. Save. Let's go back over to our Google slide, delete what we had earlier, insert our image. And the cool thing is about this, you know, is that you're creating an image that you can insert anywhere and it's going to play. Now, remember, it's only going to play three times. So if you want it to play continuously, then you'll have to make sure that you select that option that it plays forever. There we go. So that's much bigger and we can even make it smaller now here. Um, so I think that's probably the best size. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you learned something um, new and interesting and you're excited to make your own animated GIF. So I'll see you guys next time.